In 1940, DC Comics first created The Flash, and this was the first time any superhero was specifically given a speed quirk. Soon, this superhero got his own set of villains with super speed, and in a few years, he was achieving magnanimous feats such as traveling back through time or using the entire speed force for his advantage. This was the first time writers realized how great it was to add speed as an ability to a superhero. Soon, each franchise rolled over its own characters with speed quirks. Marvel created Quicksilver, Sega Games released Sonic the Hedgehog, so among those characters, who are the fastest characters ever to exist? Let's find out. Starting off the list, we have Dash from The Incredibles. Born with a hearty sense for adventure and tons of energy to spare, this Incredible is the first we should mention when it comes to super speed. From the record set at The Incredibles video game, this kid has a speed of 190 meters per hour, which may be low compared to others in this list, but is still pretty fast in human standards. Dash is highly competitive and is also a bit of a show-off, so you can see him bragging about his super speed all day long, but he isn't just filled with bland words. Dash can run along the water fast enough to prevent him from submerging and his speed quirk is also spread to his other body parts such as his arms which allows him to punch at a rapidly fast rate. His speed also gives him great reflexes and this in return greatly augments his reaction time. Thanks to Edna Mode, Dash's suit is designed to be air, water and heat resistant so he can get that extra boost of speed when he needs it. Coming in next is Neo. Now, we know this cyber hacking criminal has a lot more powers to talk about rather than speed, but he would have been injured in a lot of his fights if it wasn't for his speed. Yet we know he doesn't run faster than light like many other speedsters do in our list, but that's because his speed isn't emphasized while it's used. Unlike others who use speed as an ability, Neo uses speed by manipulating the powers of the Matrix. This allows him to travel at faster speeds than a normal human being and also jump greater heights from the momentum he gains from that speed. He uses his speed for flight as well, especially to escape explosions before they hit him. As we mentioned, his speed isn't explicitly exaggerated in the movie, but he flies from Merovingian's mountain manor to the highway within a few minutes, and the distance between these two is nearly 500 miles. Neo speed also helps him to dodge bullets and avoid attacks, so even when there are plenty of guns firing at him, he can walk through them with his sunglasses on and still look so damn cool. Wonder Woman comes in at number 8. Well, she is a daughter of the gods, so what do you expect? Wonder Woman has shown the power of her speed in her battles from time to time. Similar to Neo, speed isn't her main quirk, but that doesn't mean her speed can't surpass others. Her powers come from the icor of the gods running in her body and the blessings given to her by the Greek gods. The one to grant her superhuman speed was Hermes, the god of messengers. Wonder Woman can travel at half the speed of light and more than the speed of sound. She utilizes her speed mostly in battles and she first manages to showcase this in her battle with Doomsday. Her speed managed to travel fast between her opponent and slash its skin while also increasing her reaction time. Now, if you've checked the trailer for her second movie, it gives some screen time to her speed quirk by showing how fast she dodges the attacker's bullets using her speed and bracelets. She won't be able to match the speed of Superman or the Flash, but that doesn't mean her speed is to be undermined. Up next we have the Human Torch. Now, he may not appear in movies so often in recent years, but we can't forget about this fire-spewing playboy when it comes to speed. Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch, gained his powers after he was exposed to cosmic radiation, and in return, he got the power to fly by providing a thrust behind using his own flame powers. Now, because of his flight capabilities, the Human Torch has a speed of 140 miles per hour and can accelerate up to supersonic speeds without, pun intended, breaking a sweat. In the comics, it's also rumored that Human Torch has cosmic powers, which means he can amplify the speed any way he needs. His speed is proved true in various movies, especially in Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, where he raced the Silver Surfer to reach the planet's orbit. And just like Dash, he always likes to show off, especially when he flies around the sky and makes the Fantastic Four sign at the end of the first movie. Next up we have... 
Captain Marvel. Okay, when it comes to characters who can fly between galaxies, it should be obvious for you that super speed comes as a bonus, right? Captain Marvel's ability to absorb and redirect energy manages to increase her speed as well. According to the records of Marvel, Carol Danvers, aka Captain Marvel, can travel at three times the speed of sound. And we're just talking about her normal speed there. The more energy she absorbs, the faster she can travel. And if she boosts her speed this way, she can travel faster than light as well. This is how she traveled between star systems to find Tony Stark in Avengers Endgame. Her speed assists her in battles as well, considering how she can rapidly move between areas with her powers. Now, her speed might not be enough to surpass time like Flash, but combined with her superhuman agility and superhuman strength, her speed is surely a force to be reckoned with. Silver Surfer takes the number 5 spot. Along with the Human Torch, we can't forget the Surfer who raced him to the orbit, the one and only Silver Surfer. Similar to the Human Torch, Silver Surfer's powers come from the Cosmos, which allows him to bend and transform energy at his will. He can navigate through interstellar space and can travel nearly at the speed of light. If he puts his mind to it, he can even travel interstellar and intergalactic distances in a matter of seconds. Being the Silver Surfer he is, Silver Surfer's energy mostly lies within his board, and being trapped into it, the board also results in increasing his speed. Silver Surfer appears in Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer and is even fast enough to race Johnny Storm. In his origin stories in the comics, he's strong enough to travel through time with his speed. Even though there was a Silver Surfer spin-off planned by Marvel, we're pretty sad that it didn't get produced because nothing beats this hero surfing with his speed. Superman takes the number 4 spot. Yes, we know we're talking about your typical Gary Sue, but unless there's someone who's wielding kryptonite on our list, there's only going to be a few heroes who can beat the speed of Superman. This member of the Justice League can take on a speed of 2,000 miles per second. Superman has demonstrated his speed in his early movies, and even in the reboots, he's traveled back to Earth from space in a matter of seconds, which shows exactly how fast he is. It's sad that we never got to see the victor in the race between The Flash and Superman at the end of the Justice League movie because we definitely could have dropped him a few more entries above in the list if he won. Now with this speed, Superman can even dodge bullets, but we don't see a reason why, because as we mentioned, his only weakness is kryptonite and bullets don't even hurt him anyway. In at number 3 is Sonic the Hedgehog. Here's another hero who originated from video games and animated series, but unlike others, this hedgehog can't be categorized into a heroic universe. And another difference is, unlike others, Sonic speed is his only ability, but that doesn't mean you can't take him seriously. In the Sonic universe, super speed is something every hedgehog possesses, and Sonic is considered as the fastest hedgehog alive, or the fastest thing in the universe. He can instantly amplify his speed for the speed of sound and can travel both both forwards and backwards, which is a pretty nice party trick and something many speedsters can rarely do. With his speed, Sonic can run over water, scale buildings, dodge bullets and lasers, and even cause ground tremors in his wake. Sonic also has mastered his ability and can race in any environmental habitat without any issue. His speed grants him astounding kineticism and quick reflexes, which means this little hedgehog is always updated on his defense as well. His speed also gives him incredible jumping skills, and if he was just a little bit faster, he could even surprise past the next two entries on our list. <laughs> In our runner-up spot, we have Quicksilver. Now, we know most of the characters in this list can run fast, but who can run at the speed of sound while listening to their favorite playlist? It has to be the one and only Quicksilver. Quicksilver, aka Pietro Django Maximoff, is a mutant born with the power of speed. But it isn't just about moving at superhuman speeds. Quicksilver can also think at superhuman speeds too. If you've watched the later movies of the X-Men franchise, this should be pretty obvious, right? I mean, look at the way he rescued every student from the man before the explosion, or how he took down the guards when they were trying to escape with Magneto. Quicksilver always knows how to do things in a certain fashion, either if it's a rescue mission or a getaway. Now, in terms of numbers, this mutant can run at supersonic speeds that can surpass sound. This grants him superior agility and reflexes, and he can remove the bullet shot at him in thin air. Quicksilver isn't only the coolest mutant, but he's also the fastest as well.
Yes, topping our list is the Scarlet Speedster, the man who can bend time with his speed and the fastest man to ever exist in this universe, Barry Allen, also known as The Flash. Just like Sonic the Hedgehog and Quicksilver, The Flash's main ability is his superhuman speed, but what makes him unique is his connection to the Speed Force. With the power of the Speed Force, this hero can travel faster than the speed of light and travel either back or forwards in time with his power. The Flash is so fast that light can be frozen around him. Even though Flash has yet to get his own standalone movie, the Justice League did a good job introducing his character to the DC Universe and we can't forget the Flash of the original TV series who has now travelled back in time so many times that we've lost count haven't we? We can also say that without a doubt this Scarlet Speedster can surpass any hero in this list and can still be miles ahead of them in a race. So what did you think of our list then? Let us know who your favourite speedster was from the list and just as we mentioned being fast isn't the only advantage of having a speed quirk. You can travel on water, have better reflexes and even travel back through time if you master it correctly. Come to think of it speed may even be the most powerful ability in the world. Anyway good luck speedster fans this is the TV region signing off hoping to see you in the next video.